Hemichordata are worm-like creatures that make up a small phylum of a ju just a few hundred species and are sister taxa to ectoderms and chordates. Phylum he Hemochordata consists of two classes. The most common living group is Endonusta, often called acorn worms, followed by Pterobrachia. Internonusta are solitary organisms that undergo sexual reproduction involving two sexes and egg fertilization. Adults, adult acorn worms share similar characteristics to chordates. They contain pharyngeal gill pores, a partially neurolated nerve cord, and a stoma cord. Pyrobrochs reproduce either asexually or sexually through a brief lar larvae stage and live in interconnected colonies unlike acorn worms. Hemochordates are three tissue layered mates with bilateral body symmetry. They possess a partially open circulatory system, are supported by a hydrostatic skeleton. Internal nusta, the, the majority if of the phylum, can be found crawling, swimming, or relaxing under rocks or, or in sand in both shallow and deep waters where they f eat fine particles in the water. Hemichordates are known to develop in two ways, either directly or indirectly. The indirect development has a larval stage. The larval stage which feeds on plankton before turning into an adult worm. Direct development bypasses this larval stage and develops straight into an adult worm. Also, an interesting fact is that they have the ability to regenerate which can be beneficial for human health. In class, we constructed two trees using the 16S gene in the organisms and morphological characteristics. The 16S phylogenetic tree is more accurate because phyla are grouped together based on similarities or differences between DNA sequences, whereas the other tree groups phyla together simply based upon physical traits. More specifically, the 16S tree we constructed in class groups the organisms together based on whether the organisms in the clade are protosomes, deuterosomes, or neither. Hemichordata is in the clade representing deuterostomes, and the most closely related taxa are echinoderms and chordates. It was in the 1880s when researcher William Bateson first compared hemichordates to chordates. Many of the hemichordata characteristics aligned very closely with chordata characteristics such as the gill slits and dorsal hollow nerve cord he observed. Bateson replaced the hemichordata in the chordata phylum. In the 1940s, however, scientists became skeptical of these early observations and agreed that hemichordata only contained about half the chordata morphological features and therefore it created its own phylum, given the name hemichordata that literally means half chordata. Observing fossil records have predicted that these deuterostomes are around 500 million years old. Four hypotheses exist concerning their origin. The hemichordate hypothesis developed by Bateson suggests that Hemichordates evolved through an exaggeration of structures in a common ancestor that already contained dorsal central nervous system. The auricularian hypothesis states that the ancestor was a ciliated larva resembling a tarot branch, where the cilia eventually eternalized to form a new central nerve cord. The bilateral Ancestor hypothesis states that chordates originated from a complex bilateral protosome animal. And finally, the inversion hypothesis suggests that an early protosome ancestor inverted its body and evolved a mouth, making recent anatomy the inverse of protosomes. In a journal article published in 2000 by researchers Cameron, Gary, and Swalla, a phylogenetic tree of deuterostomes was constructed using the 18S gene. Due to grouping of phyla based on DNA, this tree is more accurate than the data matrix tree we constructed in class. Our data matrix tree shows that hemichordata is not closely related to echinoderms, where the 18S tree accurately shows that they are, they are related to echinoderms because both phyla contain similarities in the sequences of their DNA and contain synapomorphies of an endoskeleton and collar, collar stoma cord. In addition, in the data matrix tree, the outgroup is periphera, whereas in the 18S tree, the outgroup is analita. Also, the fact that the 18S tree is of the deuterostomes, except for the outgroup, creates a more specific creates a more specified tree and rules out any relations between hemichordata and the protostomes that we dissected in class. Thank you.